Suit up is just beginning now, and there is our first look in the room. There is astronaut Doug Hurley getting into his spacesuit, and he's being helped by one of the suit technicians there. So this is our, our first look in the room. Again, Doug Hurley, he has flown into space two times before. He was the pilot on STS-127 and 135. And there's a wider shot. You can see astronaut Bob Benkin also in view now. Bob is to the right of your screen, and he was he also flew on two shuttle missions. These seats are uh, basically ground support equipment seats. They're pretty much the same as the ones in the vehicle, as Leland said. So what they're doing right now is strapping the crew into the seats to prepare for the two big checkouts that they're doing right now. Uh, they're going to do a comms check, a bi-directional comms check, where they're going to check that the microphones that are inside of the helmets that the crew are wearing, that uh, the, the suit techs can communicate with them bi-directionally. And they'll also do a leak test, which is a, a pressure test where they'll pressurize the space suit. So the suits are more, much more than just futuristic looking outfits. They do look like they come from a, a sci-fi movie. <laughs> um, but they, as we described, they're, they're designed to connect directly into Dragon seats to provide communications, cooling, and the ability to pressurize if necessary. Um, a moment ago, you may have seen one of the suit technicians um, attaching a big white umbilical to the leg of the suit. That is the way in which the communications and the, the airflow, all of that is happening through that umbilical, which is connected to the seat. So right now, as you can see, we're getting, the team is getting the crew all buttoned up in their five point harnesses and getting ready for those checkouts. Corn countdown one at three hours, 49 minutes. The advance team has arrived at the pad and is proceeding to the capsule on schedule. Corn countdown one at three hours, 46 minutes. The suit donning and checkouts are complete on schedule. And here is a live look again inside the suit up room in the Neil Armstrong operations and checkout building. We can see now NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein, he's talking to the crew. You won't hear any audio in here. And actually, we had some questions about this Wednesday because people were like, why can't I hear what they're saying? That's by design. It's not a mistake. Um, we are really lucky to be able to show you this video live as they're suiting up. But you don't hear the audio because that's a little bit, you know, we, we try to give the crew a little bit of privacy. Um, and so being able to talk freely and, and share really what's on their minds without uh, having to worry about who's listening is, is part of the reason you don't hear audio in there. But uh, that's Jim Bridenstine there um, talking to the crew, and it looks like Associate Administrator Jim Moorhard um, is also in the room standing to the right of your screen.